my blob paintings are created by pouring layer upon layer of acrylic paint in concentric rings. My overall intent is to create vibrant sculptural works. Each blob that I make is a new opportunity to create a unique color combination. Sometimes I choose cool tones, some are warm, some present earth tones. Most of all, I tend to like high contrast. The compositions I present are intended to produce a feeling of free-flowing movement so that your eyes have the opportunity to constantly move around the piece. I have a range of about 100 colors that I use in my works. And in order to create them, I have recipes so that I can reproduce the colors exactly each time. I use a special acrylic paint that is pourable, which allows me to produce the nice circular forms that I get. But this paint is unique because it also builds up thickly once it's dry. To make sure that I don't run out of paint while I'm working, I actually mix two to four gallons of each color. The first blob layer is extremely important because it sets the composition for the whole piece. I often choose a single color, like white or silver, to help unify a piece. Once the first layer is done, it has to dry completely, which can take up to four weeks. Because of the drying process, my pieces can take between four to five months from start to finish. As I continue pouring paint following the composition laid out from the first layer, the blobs start to build up in depth. I don't actually plan out my colors in advance. I generally spontaneously respond to the piece just as it develops. Sometimes I have this weird feeling as if the blobs are calling out for a specific color. And I allow myself the freedom to employ all colors so that I can go in any direction that I choose. Once I'm finished pouring all the paint onto the piece, there's a significant amount of post-production that needs to be done on each piece. The paint is poured so thickly that it often cracks. Those cracks need to get filled, sanded, and then repainted. The final stage is applying the gloss top coat. For this process, I developed a method where I pour gloss with the painting angled against the wall to produce a perfectly even gloss coat. Each piece receives up to four separate gloss coats for a vibrant sheen. Overall, my intent is to create works that allow viewers to immerse themselves into the piece through an exploration of color and form. My ultimate goal is to bring a sense of beauty through these pieces into the world.